just get back in focus. I'm so excited I can finally like manually focus. Oh, this is amazing. Hey everyone, it's Aisha and I am so excited. I'm sure all of you guys can tell already. But I finally, finally got a new camera and I hope you guys can notice a change in the quality. Um, the camera I had before I'd been using ever since I started YouTube and I decided finally, actually I've been besides Excuse me. I've been deciding for a long time now that I wanted to upgrade my camera and get like a really good HD quality camera. Um, so I now have the Canon Rebel T3i. I did a lot of research on which one I wanted to get and which one fit my budget. Um, so I saved up a lot of money and um, I ended up getting this camera. But my dad actually ended up paying for all of it even though, you know, I saved up the money for it because my birthday is in about two weeks so he said that this would be like my birthday gift so yeah I'm super excited um, thumbs up this video if you guys are excited as I am that I finally have really good quality videos and I'm so excited to you know film videos for you guys on this amazing camera and I'm so excited to edit this video for once because it is gonna be like crisp pristine quality and I'm like I'm beyond excited about that I'm sure you can already tell But anyways, um, today's video is not about my camera, it's actually um, a hijab tutorial or scarf tutorial on um, the turban style that I wore in my last video. And um, I will link the video that I did last down below as well as at the end of this video if you guys would like to check that out. If you guys are just checking out my channel for the first time, um, I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Okay, so basically all I'm going to be using for this tutorial is um, this scarf. Um, so this is like a lavender colored scarf. Um, I bought from a store in Philadelphia, but um, I will, I found like the exact kind of scarves on eBay, so I'll link um, that site down below on eBay. And yeah, there it's just basically like a viscose scarf, and if you guys can see, there's like a lot of sparkles and everything. Um, in it, and it looks really, really pretty on the head. I'm still getting used to this camera, so please forgive me if, like, part of this video isn't focused or anything. But yeah, um, basically what I just did was fold it in half because it is kind of see-through. So, like, this is it folded in half and, like, that's it, like, not folded in half so you can see how, like, see-through it is. Um, so... Yeah, you just need like any scarf will work for this basically. I just like viscose because it tends to like stay in its spot wherever you put it. Yeah, you just need like a bonnet or like under scarf I call it sometimes. Um, yeah, and like make sure you have a lot of volume in your hair. I'm kind of lacking the volume. Yeah, I just like tied another hijab underneath to give me a bit more volume. So you definitely need volume for this uh, scarf style. So for this, um, I like to have like one side that is a little longer than the other, not like super long or anything, um, but you definitely do need it a bit longer. Um, so let me just situate that. So yeah, I just have like the shorter side and the much longer side over there. So. I am going to take both sides and just kind of tie it behind my back. I'll turn around if you, so you guys can see. So I'm just tying it and pulling both sides across. For this particular style, I don't like showing um, the under piece, so I just kind of situate that. And because it's summer, I like to pull my... Um, scarf like way up to my hairline just so I don't get like really bad um, hijab tans and stuff so yeah I do have a big forehead so yeah <laughs> and then what you're gonna do is just take your shorter side and I like to just kind of like flip it once and then um, so I'm taking the side that has like the like folded parts. I don't even know how to describe this to be honest, but yeah, I'm just going to lay that. Now you can do it all the way like this, but I kind of don't really like how that looks. So I place it kind of on a diagonal like this and just kind of like bunch it all together. You can kind of like make the folds as you please. And I just like to tuck the folded edge underneath so it looks a little more clean. 
take a handy dandy safety pin and it doesn't really matter what color because um, you're going to put the other layer on top so no one will see like the colors of your pins. Maybe two pins. So it just looks like that. Yep. Um, and the side looks like this so far. And then you're going to take the other side and you're going to do the same thing. Kind of align it just as you did before. But you're going to be like holding this entire thing. Like you're not going to like fan out the entire scarf, if that makes sense. So right along here, just like in a little triangle. So once you kind of wrap it around, you're going to be left with this little bit. And I'll show you what that looks like in the back so I wrapped it all around here and then here's like the end and what I like to do is just kind of fan it out like this and just to cover this weird like awkward little knot thing going on I just like to cover it just by like swooping it over like so this little bit you can just tuck under but yeah just keep like tucking and pulling as you can and then um, some people like to like stuff it under the fold you created here but I'm just gonna pin it so this time you want to take pins that are like similar um, colors so I'm just taking like a purple one that matches and I'm just gonna pin that in place and you can do a couple pins but I'm probably just going to do one and this awkward little bit you can just kind of like tuck in underneath the scarf. Like it doesn't really bother me that much but if it really bothers you um, just kind of keep moving this scarf to your desire. So just to make this look a little nicer where I pinned it, oh, pin went flying hopefully I don't step on that later, um, I'm just going to take this pretty little pin. That is backwards, Aisha. Looks like that. And um, it's basically just one of those ones where you can um, like close off the pin like this. So it's like extra secure. I'm just going to place it right over where I pinned. And then close it off so it doesn't go flying. So that is it for the turban style scarf. Um, I'm just going to quickly do like a 360 so you guys can see what the style looks like from all angles. So let's try to do this without looking super awkward. <laughs> So I hope you guys found this video useful and if you tried this turban style um, then let me know down below and let me know if you know this was easy for you to follow because it is kind of a tricky style. Um, I had to watch many many vid uh, different videos so that I could like get it down for myself. Um, but this is a technique that works for me like every time with every you know hijab style. Um, in my last video I was using like a pashmina scarf and it worked fine for that. This one I'm using viscose. But yeah, I, I don't really know why I'm out of breath right now. <sighs> Give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And let me know down below what other videos you guys would like to see from me. Um, actually, I do have a request from you guys. I do want to film a Q&A really soon. Um, so if you guys have any questions for me or have ever had any questions for me, then please leave them in the comments down below and I will... Um, probably in the next couple weeks I'll just like gather all the questions and that was my mom sneezing if you guys heard that um, but yeah I'll just make a video strictly of a Q&A from any questions that you guys have for me um, yeah so hopefully you guys actually ask me questions because if I get like two questions I mean I'd still do the video but like it'd be kind of awkward to be honest once again thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys I'm feeling myself I'm feeling myself I'm feeling myself